Welcome to this video uh, for ECMN 275 on series and parallel transformer connections. So when voltage splits or adds, something is done to the transformer. Uh, assume, assuming that the transformer has four coils, two primary, two secondary, primary being identified with H's, secondary being identified with X's, uh, you can make several different connections to obtain voltages that are desired for an application. The two main types, uh, even when we get into three-phase transformers, are series or parallel. So a lot of times people will either say series connections add or subtract depending on which way you're looking at it. So in a couple of these examples, I'll go on to explain that. So on the primary side here, we see 120 volts AC applied to H1 and H4. The jumper is between two and three. Now given this transformer as an example, as a 10 to one ratio transformer, we should see 100, uh, 120 volts coming in with the same exact connection on the other side uh, we should see 12 volts coming out. That's our 10 to 1 ratio. All right, when you put the transformer in series, you simply jump out uh, the 2 to 3. So the, the second terminal on the first coil to the first terminal on the second coil. And we're always going to apply voltage to 1 and 4. Uh, we do that so that we're using the entire transformer. All right, likewise on the second side, on the secondary side, you see 6 volts and 6 volts. Once we put our jumper between X2 and X3, we would then connect our load or our meter to X1 and X4. In a parallel parallel transformer configuration, you would see full voltage applied to each coil. What would that mean? That here means that the primary, each coil is only rated to handle 120 volts. So luckily, that's exactly what we're applying to it. So at 10 to 1, each coil can handle 120 volts on the primary and 12 volts per coil on the secondary. Now, two things can be done with this. In this example, we have a primary, a primary of parallel to a secondary of parallel. Again, the reason why we pull power out of 1 and 4 is so that we use all of the coils associated with the transformer so we don't affect the KVA rating of the transformer. That's basically the power rating or how much volt amps you could apply to this transformer. Eliminating a coil decreases that KVA rating. From that same example of a parallel parallel to a parallel series connection, we see full voltage applied to the primary coils at 120 volts apiece. By inducing 12 volts per coil on the secondary side, and putting that in a series connection instead of a parallel, as you see here, this voltage will actually add, and that should be 24 volts AC. Okay? Uh, some of the things to denote for this is that a series connection is typically an H2 to H3, X2 to X3. Uh, parallel connection is a 1 to 3, 2 to 4, 1 to 3, 2 to 4. Okay, and we can see that again here. Once we get into the, uh, the three-phase transformer banks, these concepts will carry over, and we'll be putting transformers and their coils in either series or parallel. Uh, we will be getting to that next module. Thank you.